Hi everyone, today we will do legal dictation exercise number 26. You can get the PDF from description box. So ready, start. On the fateful day, accused persons armed with dangerous weapons and bombs attacked the deceased and the prosecution witnesses. Appellant hurled bomb on deceased and he died on the spot and others also hurled bombs and prosecution witnesses suffered splinter injuries. The High Court upheld the acquittal of all the accused except the appellant and convicted the appellant under Section 302. The High Court has not exercised the caution that was expected to while dealing with the judgment of acquittal by the trial court. High Court was not justified in interfering with all the well-considered judgment of the trial court. The judgment of the High Court is set aside and that of the trial court is restored. The well-considered judgment of the trial court has been upset by the High Court and in its judgment the High Court relied on the complaint. There is hardly any consideration in the High Court's judgment more particularly of the mix-up of timings as regards the complaint. In the complaint, it is specifically alleged that the Telugu Dasham party was led by the appellant. Both the parties had fought in connection with using the road and the witness himself and his party people were accused in that case and were absconding. It is then suggested PW1 and other persons went to the car and the paddy hay of RP and while they were bundling the hay, the 16 accused persons came there and the appellant A2, A3 were holding bombs in their hand. It was the appellant who hurled a bomb on the disease. The said bomb exploded and the disease fell down and died on the spot. Then the others also started hurling the bombs. PW1 then referred to his being hacked by other accused persons with a haunting sickle and on the right knee with the spear. He then refers to an injury caused in his little finger because of the spear. He then referred to the police firing a gun. After that, he refers that all the injured came to the government hospital and were being treated. On seeing the evidence of PW1 in the light of evidence of PW14 head constable and PW15 circle inspector falsity of his evidence become clear. Though in his examination in chief he claimed that all of them along with women folk were taken in the tractor. Thank you. Please subscribe my channel. Steno Star.